most trusted name in news. Finally from us tonight, an American story through and through. It's about a man who came to this country from thousands of miles away. Maybe his family's world was different, but his values made him right at home in the U.S., a love of democracy and freedom. Their values important enough that he's willing to fight, perhaps die, if his adopted country asks him to, even if that means fighting in the land of his ancestors. There are those in his family who do not understand that, but Gunnery Sergeant Jamal Boudani, it seems obvious. After all, he's an American. Here's CNN's Brian Cabell. And, uh, buckle up and shuffle to the Gunnery Sergeant Jamal Badani is a man with a mission. Jump right out and shout, Marine Corps! His parents are Yemeni. He was born in Cairo, Egypt, but he is an American Marine. I will demonstrate. He was active duty for 10 years, then left in 1992 for the corporate world. But last March, in the wake of 9-11 and what he felt was lingering anti-Arab sentiment in the U.S., he returned to active duty. I wanted to prove and, uh, that uh, Arab Americans aren't the ones that did this uh, atrocity. It was uh, foreign nationals that came and attacked their homeland, and this is my home. Now, as he trains his platoon, he, along with an estimated 3,500 Arab Americans in the military, faces the prospect of attacking Iraq, an Arab nation. No problem, he insists. He's a Marine. Badani says in the Marines he's never felt the sting of discrimination, not even since 9-11. He's never seen any suspicious stares. He's never heard any muttered insults. In the Marines, he says, his ethnic background simply hasn't mattered. Back home in Dearborn, Michigan, where there's a heavy concentration of Arab Americans, his family has faced an occasional insult. His uncle Khalid, for example, says he got the silent treatment from some fellow employees after 9-11. They didn't want to, you know, work for me. Because you were here? Yes. His solution? He hung a photo of his nephew, Gunnery Sergeant Badani, in full uniform in his office. The silent treatment ended. Badani cherishes his time at home, the adoring family, the distinctive food, the good-natured talk, the sweet tea. But even in Dearborn, he remains, above all, a Marine taking time to promote the core to skeptical Arab-American boys. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. They question the idea of fighting fellow Arabs. Just amazing if you're fighting your own family. They criticize American policy in the Middle East. It's shown itself that America does basically support, has too much support for the state of Israel. But Badani reminds them that the United States allowed them and their families to come here to live. And he asks them, what do you like about this country? They respond with, Freedom, jobs, education. Exactly, says Badani. Okay, I'm fighting so you all can have everything that you told me about America, to keep it that way. Jamal Badani is a man straddling two worlds, and he's doing it gracefully, not hiding from his Arab heritage, but reveling in it. But he's a Marine now, ready to fight and die against Arabs, if necessary. Land of motivation. I'm not going to be uh, buried in, in Yemen. I'm not going to be buried in my birth land, uh, which is Cairo. You know, if, uh, if something happens to me, you know, the highest honor for me would be buried in uh, Arlington National Cemetery. Gunnery Sergeant Badani awaits his orders to ship out. From Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, Ryan Cabell, CNN. Quick program note before we go. A reminder, tomorrow on American Morning, Kira Phillips has an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at a special ops urban combat training program. Uh, this is the worst kind of war something American troops may possibly face should there be a war with Iraq. That's tomorrow morning on American Morning and at other points throughout the day, uh, 8 o'clock Eastern Time tomorrow for that. We'll see you tomorrow night, 10 o'clock Eastern Time. Until then, good night for all of us. And I'm sure I'm going to get this right at Newsnight. Good night.